Oh, YouTube. Uh, a key trapper here again with another video. I'd like to uh, uh, give you guys a demonstration and show you some improvements I've made to uh, my homemade uh, bandsaw blade sharpener. Uh, got some I got some more ideas off of a, a web page. It was a, a sharpener made by Hardwood Mills. And it actually had a, a mechanism built in for feeding the blade. And so uh, I incorporated that into a um, sharpener I've already made. And uh, so this will be a, a bandsaw blade sharpeners take two. And uh, I'll give you some dimensions and some information here. Okay, let's get started here. Start off by showing you how it works. Fire it up here and we'll sharpen a few blades or a few teeth. I have a, a diamond impregnated uh, sharpening wheel here so uh, it helps cut down on the silica dust. But essentially what, how this works is the uh, same as the other one using a chainsaw sharpener but a, a, a new feed mechanism and you'll notice that it's actually feeding the tooth that's going to be sharpened and you can get pretty fast at operating this if you, once you get good Get kind of a rhythm going. But what this uh, mechanism does is it allows you to uh, not have to handle the blade. Before the way I was doing it was I used this little gauge and I just I'd pull the uh, I pull the blade forward and then and then pull it back against the the guide. And uh, so I'm not even using that anymore. Um, that way. Basically, you're not having to handle the blade with your hands and your gloves. And I also incorporated in here a little uh, little tensioner, um, just so that it keeps things nice and snug as the blade's moving through. And as your blade's coming down, it, it won't push the blade ahead. Um, there's a tack weld here and a tack weld here, and there's nothing in the middle, so this this tensioner can actually. Uh, Tighten right up against that blade and hold it hold it firm while you're grinding it. Okay, I'm going to give you a few dimensions here. I'm not really good at edit, editing video, so I'm going to try to make this all in one shot and uh, without cutting and all that stuff. I'm not really uh, very knowledgeable with uh, doing that those processes. So let me just zoom in here a little bit. And you'll be able to uh, see the mechanism. I'll give you some dimensions. So, to the first pivot, let's see, I have about a uh, inch and oh, a little bit more than inch and three quarters, maybe inch and seven eighths, and then. Uh, between these two, uh, between the pivot point here and this pivot point right here, uh, approximately uh, two and a quarter. Um, the way this works, as you're pushing this forward, this is your stop. And if you adjust this, this bolt up, it lets you push a little farther and you'll grind less. If you adjust this down, it pushes a little less, but you'll grind more. And so that's the, uh, that's the mechanism right there. And I put a little stop back here too, so that this thing doesn't go and just flop over. Um, so it's just a stop to stop. And I also put a, uh, incorporated a spring in here so that, um, 
it'll pull it back automatically. I don't have to pull it back manually. Um, I also incorporated a few other things here. I put a little piece of ultra high molecular weight plastic right here so that as the blade comes around it's sliding on that. That's a nice slippery surface. That seems to work really good. So It's that simple. Sharpen, sharpen, sharpen. <coughs> the length of this uh, stop is about three and yeah, about three and a half to the bolt. Well, I guess there's nothing really to measure from there, but a piece of steel. I think I'm using quarter inch thick steel there. The length of this arm, this push arm, from the outside of that pin to the center of the bolt, about five and a quarter or six and a quarter. I'm sorry. You can see that. And so there it is. I've incorporated uh, um, some stuff from the the Hudson, and uh, I've also incorporated stuff from Hardwood Mills. They have a website. They sell the whole outfit for. I think it's $500, 550 something like that. Um, or you can just buy the, um, the plate mechanism and then mount your own um, chainsaw sharpener to it. And it has arms for holding the blade and everything. Um, I think they want $400 for just the, the base plate um, minus the, the grinder. Okay. I think that about covers everything. If you have any questions or uh, thoughts or comments, be sure and leave them down below. Uh, I'll try to answer them. If uh, there's more information that you guys would like, let me know. Um, uh, I'm really liking this sharpener. It kind of uh, speeds up the process for a manual sharpener. Um, I think it's, it's great. And... Uh, um, I think that eventually someday I'd like to build a fully automated, uh, you know, motor driven, something you just turn on, set up and walk away from. But for now, this is definitely going to take care of my needs and uh, maybe even some of my friends needs. Uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.